What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I wanna go in and I'm gonna readjust the valve lash on my motor. And what I've got is a later model 302 that we punched out to a 347. I've got hydraulic rollers in here so I can fairly easily go in and adjust the valve lash on my setup. The reason why is it's, I've developed a little bit of a ticking sound or the stereotypical sewing machine uh, ticking that you can hear when the car's idling or even when you're driving. So to take care of that, I want to go in, I'm going to just tighten up the valve lash on the, each one of these and we'll go through each step and I'll show you how to do it and uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. So I went ahead and took the valve cover off and got everything ready to go for this. And I've also got cylinder on number one, top dead center, so that we're ready to adjust these. We don't, you can do it with the various positions of the cam, you know, we've got like this one you can see it's kind of sticking up. You can do it that way, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through each one and we're going to rotate the motor so that each, each cylinder is on top dead center in the compression stroke and we'll adjust the, the rockers for each one of those. I'm not in a real big hurry, so I don't need to go down the line and just do them all at once. We'll just take our time and do each one. So the first thing I'm going to want to do on here is loosen up these set screws on these top nuts here. And it just takes a 3 16 Allen and we'll just break that free on both of these. Some of them might be tighter than others, so just don't rack your knuckles. There we go, okay. Now that we got that free, I can go ahead, and I'm just gonna go ahead and back these set screws out so they're not in our way. And now I want to loosen up, oh, see that was fairly easy. Loosen up these, these nuts right here so that we can adjust the tightness with these with the lifters. All right, so those are pretty loose. And the trick here is to spin the push rod back and forth in your fingers and then tighten this down until it stops spinning. And you're, this is one of those things you're just gonna have to do till you feel it. It's getting a little bit tighter. There. Now I can't spin this anymore. I mean, if you, if you really get on it, you can spin it, but I can't easily spin it. So that's zero lash. We're gonna do the same thing back here. There, that's zero lash. Now to set this, now that we're at zero lash, we wanna set it, I'm gonna go three quarters of a turn past zero. Some people like to do quarter, half, three quarters, one. Everybody has a different idea of where they want theirs. I spoke to my engine builder about this and he sets them to one half turn past zero. And he says, if I'm getting a little bit of a ticking sound, go ahead and do go to three quarters of a turn and that should make it go away. So that's what I'm gonna do on these. And because my motor is in the car, it's kind of hard to get in there with a wrench. So, so I'm going to start at the 12 o'clock part and spin it all the way to the 9 o'clock. There. And I know you can't see the handle, but I went all the way around three quarters of a turn. And now that set that from zero last to three quarters of a turn past zero. And I'm gonna do that on all of them, but right now I'm gonna just focus on these two. So again, same thing on this one. Go half, and then there's three quarters. Okay, so that's set. Now I wanna go in and I wanna retighten the set screw on here. Just go ahead and run this all the way to the bottom. On both of them. There we go. Now we're going to want to hold that jam nut, hold this nut in place while we tighten this set screw. Okay, that's one. And that's two. Great. So now cylinder number one is done, and you just do the same thing for all the remaining seven cylinders in the same exact path. 
But how do we get to the next cylinder in the firing order? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. If you can get a wrench onto the crankshaft and spin it 90 degrees, it will put you in line with the next cylinder that's in the firing order. Or you can do what I've done here. As I, if you take the distributor cap off, I marked on the distributor cap, these little Sharpie marks, where each one of the spark plugs are. And so if I just rotate the crankshaft until this is pointing at the next mark, I'll know that it's the next cylinder in line, and I know that I'm gonna be at the top dead center uh, you know, of the compression stroke for each one of the cylinders, and you'll go right in order with it. Now, you're also gonna to need to know your firing order for your car. This is the 351 Windsor firing order, I think is what it's called, the, the, the formal term, the, the Windsor firing order on my motor. That's not the same firing order for other Ford motors, particularly the one that came in this car has a different firing order. So you're gonna to wanna to know your firing order for the motor that you have. In my case, cylinder number three is the next one in order. So when I rotate the crank, there. Now, this is pointed to the next Sharpie mark, and I know that cylinder number three for my motor is ready to go. So I'm coming over to cylinder number three. Again, on my car, it's number three. You guys might have a different firing order, so you're gonna wanna know that. Break that free. We'll just loosen these up. These set screws. And we can loosen these guys. Oh yeah, this is pretty easy. Okay, that's loose, that's loose. Again, same as before. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but uh, I'm gonna Spin these until, there, that's zero lash. There, zero lash. I can't spin the push rods anymore, and this is tight, just finger, enough, finger tight, that's zero lash. Now remember, I wanna go three quarters of a turn past zero. Okay, sitting on there. And you also make sure you don't have the socket resting on the rocker arm or anything like that because you don't wanna push anything more on here. You just wanna adjust the nut. Okay, so we're gonna go, there's half, and then another quarter. That's three quarters of a turn past zero. And um, this one's gonna be a little harder to do. Gonna have to do it down here, so I have to do quarter turns at a time because of trying to get to everything. So, one quarter, two quarters, there we go, three quarters, uh, three quarter turn past zero lash. Now we want to go ahead and lock these down. And we'll just go ahead and spin them down all the way till they bottom out. Put our 5 eighths wrench on here and set that. There we go, and set that. Now, number three is done. And again, you just follow your, your firing order until you get all eight cylinders.
So guys, that's how you do it. Again, it's pretty simple. You just kind of get in that methodical rhythm. And uh, <laughs> you guys, some of you eagle eye guys, if you're watching that time lapse, I actually didn't adjust <laughs> cylinder number six. Uh, I didn't do that three quarter turn past zero. So I went back and did that. I, after I was doing that, got to the next one, I realized I don't think I did the thing. So I went back to number six and I redid it and we're good there. Also on cylinder number four and number eight, I had to go back and I had to turn the distributor because I wasn't, again, I get kind of get in that rhythm and you, you, I start thinking about what I'm doing and I forgot to turn that. So I was able to catch those up and get those done, but just be careful when you're doing that. If you don't kind of get, you know, lose concentration on what you're doing, you could be adjusting stuff and it may not be exactly how you want it to go. So anyways, other than that, I got to slap the valve covers back on here and uh, I'm going to go out for a drive. This weekend it's still pretty cold here, but I think the weather's going to hold up for me and I'll be able to, to get out and, and put some more miles on this car and so I want to go do that. So guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out and we'll see you in the next one.